Hey guys, it's me, Stella Sims 101, and welcome to a Big Sister Challenge poll. So today I'm going to be showcasing five houses that I could not choose between from at all, and you guys are going to help me decide which house we are going to move Sierra, Joshua, and Claire into. So, enjoy! So this is not how I start my videos, usually I don't start in build mode. <laughs> And, uh, like, you guys are probably thinking, no, this is not our house yet, yet. Um, I have five different house options right now that I've been, like, going between, and I just cannot decide which one that I want, to be honest. So, I thought that I would get your guys' input on this, and there will be a straw poll down below, um, in the description or in maybe even the comments or something. Uh, where you can vote for which house uh, you would like uh, me to buy. These, I think, are all under 100,000, and uh, I did play some time off camera, so we do have 103,000 right now. So, this gives us a lot of, like, extra spending money that we can use on the shop if we end up buying, like, this house. So, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to this house. So, this house is... 72,000 simoleons um it has i don't know how many bathrooms and bedrooms but yeah i think it's super cute these are like my favorites i had like literally 10 that i thought was like my favorites but i had to narrow it down to five so these are my top five and you guys can go ahead and vote below or and if you don't want to vote in the straw poll you can always comment down below so this is house number one um this is a two-story house i think it's super cute like the outside all the houses out exteriors are like super cute the only thing about this house is that it does not have a pool yet but we do have an extra like thirty thousand if we buy this so i don't think that's a big problem <laughs> and uh yeah so let's go ahead and head inside so uh when you first walk in to this house um you get a little like guest bedroom on the right and a little i don't know workroom office area on the left and then you also have a little bathroom too and then when you walk in here you have a little bit of a kitchen it's not the biggest kitchen in the world and it could use some work but i really like it i think it's really really cute now over here we have a little dining room uh it has like a brown and green theme which i really love because those colors just go together spot on um so yeah this is super cute and then you have a little like i don't know like sitting area living roomish area right here and then over here you have a little uh gr the what it seems like garage is a um little like workroomish, like um I don't know, workout-ish room. Uh, very plain, but a uh, good room for Joshua. All right, so then you head upstairs, and um, this is where all of the bedrooms are. So uh, you have two bath, two bathrooms up here, so that makes three bathrooms all together, and they're, they both have um, at least one form of um, like showering or bathing and then you have this very plain very nice um, master bedroom this would probably be Claire's bedroom I'm assuming and then you have some, these two which are probably kiddish rooms I would say <laughs> and this is probably this room would be like our nursery I would say and this room would be like where we would put kids <laughs> This would be our kids room so that's what I'm thinking at this point point. and then this is uh, the master bedroom which isn't that big for a master bedroom and then you have a little uh, master bathroom which is, isn't really a master bathroom but it's attached to the bedroom so I call it a master bathroom but yeah it's super cute and uh, it's very like very plain and I don't know I kind of like like the dark colors and stuff that it has it's super cute but it could definitely use some work. I just, yeah. There's house number one, everybody. Four minutes. That took four Alrighty, minutes. guys. So this is house number two. Um, this is definitely, the coloring of it is definitely more to my liking. I don't know why I'm, I'm loving, like, the coloring of this house. It's so, so nice. 
I love how it's dark. I don't know why. <laughs> Just don't even ask. And the only thing I'm, I'm actually really disappointed on is the exterior, actually, because it's, um, well, I'll just get into it. The front is the cutest thing in the world. Like, let's be honest now. This is so cute. Like, these little planner boxes. Well, not planner boxes. These little flower boxes um, that are under the windowsills or whatever. That is so cute. I love that. And then this part is super cute, actually. I like how it's like that. And then you go back here, and it's definitely a little disappointing back here, to be honest, for me, anyways. <laughs> Uh, there's not a lot happening back here, and I really am not a fan of, like, this, like, flat, like, what is this kind of area. Except <laughs> it's nothing I can't handle on a little stream or something, uh, to refurbish or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it has, at least it has a pool, though. That's what I'm happy about, but still, I feel like there's not a lot going back here, but definitely nothing I can't fix. Oh, I didn't even show how much money the other house was, but... This house is um, 84000 furnished, so it's kind of a lot for not having much going on back here, but you'll see why it's that much when we go inside. So let's go ahead and get inside. Let me just, let me just, there we go. Alright, oops, I just touched my microphone, sorry about that. <laughs> so when you walk in, you have a nice little living room area, which I actually really, it's like a family room area actually. I actually really love and stairs are supposed to go here but I don't know what happened to them to be honest uh wait maybe not I don't know where sp stairs are supposed to go I guess they're supposed to go like right here or something I really don't know um <laughs> but uh so this I actually really not like all the rooms like, are these this like bright color so I kind of enjoy this like when you walk in it's like kind of it kind of gives me like a fostal kind of gives me a coastal vibe a little bit so I really like that <laughs> and uh, then you got a little bathroom right there again giving me the coastal vibe and then over here we have the kitchen slash dining room which I like how this is kind of like a contrast between white and black <laughs> I think it's super cute and I love these little stones that they put on yes <laughs> so yeah I, I really like how the kitchen's all black and then this part's all white it's definitely giving me like half modern, half coastal theme. I like it. I like it. Upstairs, again, stairs are supposed to be right here. Um, upstairs are where all the bedrooms are. So you have a little bathroom right here, which brings, uh, and then you have a bathroom right here, which brings our total to three bathrooms, which is definitely not bad at all. I definitely want to step up at least one more bathroom, but uh, hopefully we can. And then you have one, two, three, four bedrooms, which is really nice. Um, so we have like this plain little bedroom, which, you know, it's nothing special. It's definitely really small, which I'm thinking could be turned into a nursery. But this door is kind of throwing me off with that idea because of the fact that it's a balcony. Um, and this would be probably, I don't even know, maybe, probably uh, Sierra and uh, Joshua's bedroom just cause I don't know I feel like it's like a good plain you know just just there for the baby making the bedroom you know what I mean <laughs> and uh, yeah and then over here would definitely be Claire's bedroom I love this bedroom it is so cute I literally cannot get enough of this like vibe that's going on in here it's definitely a teen girly yes <laughs> that's the vibe i'm feeling from this bedroom and that's why i think it should be claire's but yeah um yeah i think that's about it and then over here you have like a nice kids bath bed yes a kids bathroom <laughs> a kids bedroom uh which is definitely nice it's definitely big and i love it i really love how it <laughs> how it looks it's super cute and uh yeah so i really like this in conclusion, I really like this one. Uh, the only thing that throws me off is the backyard, and I just, I don't know, really throws me off. But um, definitely, I'm going in order between my least favorite, from my least favorite to my most favorite, so this is like in between. I'm like kind of, uh, you know, maybe as no, maybe so type of thing, but uh, yeah. So that is 
Number house number two. Go ahead and vote for that if you want. As to live there, I think it's really cute for the size and everything. But yeah, the backyard just definitely throws me off a little Alrighty, bit. Alrighty guys, so this is house number three. The second to last house. Um, it's definitely very similar to this house. Like, look at this. They're like exactly the same. But uh, you guys could definitely tell how I liked the same, you know, dark theme that I even went for the same exact looking house. Uh, again, having this super cute little garden area and little flower boxes below the windows so cute I'm in love with this house like this is honestly like oh I love it so much it's a bit over budget actually uh, it's the only house that was over budget it is a hundred and eight thousand um, which is definitely nothing we can't get to we are at I think uh, 103 so uh, we only need 5,000 more which isn't anything we can't do at the studio <laughs> so yeah and then going back here you guys this is literally so cute I love this area to death like oh my gosh I can't get enough of this at all so uh, you have a nice little like it's like a, you have like a nice little patio right here and then you have a pool right here. I just, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then you have this little garden. I just, I can't even explain to you how much I love this. Like, oh my goodness. So sorry about all the noise, if you could hear it. <laughs> um, I keep getting like interrupted by noises. <laughs> so I literally cannot get enough of this backyard like it is so so cute i love it so so much oh i just i can't i can't deal um so let's go ahead and head inside now shall we um let's go and get into this i really like the the feels of this house it's so so like nice and just good i like the goodness <laughs> so you got a half bathroom right here very small but very you know, straight down to business. You gotta go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, so you gotta like a walk-in area and then over here you got the kitchen, which is so, so nice and just lots of room for Claire to cook up some good dishes. And then you got a little, I think, yes, a bar right here, which is super nice. Well, not a bar, but a island area where you can sit. And then you got a dining room and then a study-ish room, which can be turned into another bedroom if we wanted it to be. For sure, that's possible. And then uh, you have a little living room area or living room slash family room area right here, which is super, super pretty. I love how this looks. Super nice and open-ish and... <laughs> There's the fireplace, which I never have in my homes, and then you got the fire alarm right there, so that's good. That's always good. And yeah, so let's go ahead and head upstairs, and upstairs is where all the bedrooms are. So first over here you have a half bathroom, which I'm probably, let's be real, I'm going to be turning that into a full bathroom. <laughs> and then you have another, this is probably the master bathroom, I would say, um, this full bathroom, and then you have... I think that's it for the bathrooms but you have three bedrooms which isn't as much as the other houses but uh, it's still pretty good um, so this is would be uh, would have to be uh, Claire and or not Claire Sierra and Josh's room because um, it is the master bedroom <laughs> and one of these rooms we would definitely have to turn into Claire's room I'm not sure which because there's not a lot of room in either of these which is the only thing I'm not entirely happy about. We could definitely, like, do something over here. I don't know. We gotta figure it out. <laughs> but, uh, because I just, I can't even deal with how much I love this. Like, the, oh, yes. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot has to be done in this house. Like, the upstairs, a lot has to be done. But, I, again, like I said, nothing a stream refurbishing can't, fit, can't fix. Um, so yeah. And that is about it, actually. Yeah, that's about it for this house. Um, I honestly, I just, I have so many, like, this, if, mm, I wouldn't say this is my favorite house, but it's super, super nice, and I love it. Like, ugh. 
the freaking backyard. I just, I can't even deal with how cute it is. Oh my gosh. It's, it's such a hard decision. This is why I had to involve you guys, because it's just so, such a hard decision. So, yes, you guys, this is house number three. Okay, guys, so I just got really interrupted, and I don't even know if I started talking about this house yet. But anyways, this is house number four. This is definitely a super cute house. Uh, this is 89,000 furnished, which is definitely not bad at all. And I don't know how many bedrooms and bathrooms it has yet, but going back here, let me just turn that off. Uh, going back here, it's super cute, doesn't have a pool, but can be added. You have a cute little, like, kids, um, monkey bars, and then some planter boxes. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty plain back here, but I honestly like it better than this part of the back, this, like, this house's backyard. Like, I don't know why, but I do. I don't know why. Like, it's less <laughs> decorated than that one, but I don't know why. It's put together better than that one for whatever reason, I think. <laughs> and it has a little, like, cute little, like, area back here. It's kind of like a little secret park, which I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's this house, and let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, this also has a dark brown and, uh, green theme, uh, somewhat, a little bit. So, uh, going in here, you have a little walk entrance area, and then you have the kitchen with a, uh, family room-ish area. I might separate it a little bit better, but, uh, yeah, that's basically that. I don't know why it talks so weird right there. Um, and then you have the dining room, a separate room in its own, but, uh, you could easily fit a dining room in here somewhere, honestly, and that could be turned into something else. Who even knows? Who even knows? And, uh, you have a bathroom down here. You have a little, like, um, recreational room right here. <laughs> and you have a, you have a room, just room. I wouldn't say it's a kid's room. I mean, it is, but I'm gonna, just gonna call it a room because this could be turned into anything we want it to be. And, yeah. So, uh, and then over here, another garage type looking area, um, which has a, some nice, you know, workout equipment for Josh and a little workbench. So that's pretty cute. And yeah, that's basically it for this downstairs area. I'm actually really in love with it. <laughs> it's really cute and simple and it's definitely different. I've actually never seen a kitchen mixed with a family room before but I actually I don't really mind it it's actually kind of cute so yeah and then um going upstairs um this definitely is very very nice I love this part <laughs> um so you have two bathrooms up here which brings our bathroom total to three which is very nice I like that a lot hopefully I can sneak in a the gorgeous bathroom like tub that I like <laughs> somewhere in this house if, if this is the house that we get um so it has two kids bath bathrooms why do I keep saying that <laughs> two kids bedrooms right here which are super cute definitely I love how it's like symmetrical it's so cute I love it and then uh, you have the master bedroom right here which leads to the master bathroom and it is so nice and big and spacious and all that jazz and I really like it. It's definitely gonna be Sierra and Josh's bedroom, but it's definitely a little too antique -y for my taste. Um, these chairs especially just kind of emphasize that. So I'd probably change th things up a little bit, at least a little bit in here. And uh, yeah, and then this would be Claire's room, obviously changing this up a lot to be more of a teenager's bedroom than a you know, whoever can, you know, whatever kind of bedroom, um, and yeah, and then, yeah, I really like this bedroom, actually, this is probably my favorite bedroom, <laughs> besides the kids' bedroom, which are just adorable, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, one of these could probably be turned into, like, a nursery or something, I don't know, or we could just, you know, put nursery right here, you know, we don't even need a separate room, because there's a lot of space right here, but yeah, that is actually it. I really like this house. It's definitely very cute and simple and I like it. I like it a lot and this could actually be turned into a nursery now that I think about it, but whatever. <laughs> Let's not even, I'm not even going to get into that. Um, so yeah, that is it for all of the um, 
all of the houses. This is house number four, to remind you guys. So I'm just going to really quickly go back and kind of recap the houses with you guys.